Hello guys, it's the Damned Day and welcome back to another Call of Duty Battle Street video where in this one I'm going to be talking about COD points. Now, the last time we seen COD points in a Call of Duty was back in Black Ops 1, which was a Treyarch game as well. And that was an in-game based uh, currency where you would have to have COD points to be able to purchase attachments, weapons, stuff like that. COD points is returning to Black Ops 3 in a form of being able to buy supply drops, gobble gums, stuff like that. Which is quite a similar way to what Advanced Warfare did with their supply drops. But obviously the supply drops in Black Ops 3 are always going to be cosmetic. There is no form of getting something in a supply drop which is going to benefit you against different players online. Now, what I was going to do was going to record me opening up a supply drop using the free 200 cop points which Call of Duty is giving you. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit my record button whilst doing a recording of my voice. I spoke for like 3 minutes and then realised I wasn't recording, so I fucked up. But, let's head over to multiplayer and just to quickly show you what I got since recently in the update you can see what I've recently acquired. I only got a stealth M8, a 7 camo, a grave digger and a close call, one for the fire break, one for the profit. So I didn't really get anything too good. So luckily enough, I didn't get anything that was worth watching or seeing or seeing my reaction to. But just to explain the whole card points thing, um, if you look into purchasing card points, you can either purchase 200, 1,100, 2,400 or 5,000 card points. So you basically are buying 4,000 plus 1,000 bonus, 2,000 plus 400 bonus, 1,000 plus 100 bonus, etc. So 200 card points is for one rare supply drop. So it's £1.60 or £1.99 in dollars for one supply drop. So this is this is the Call of Duty's or Treyarch's way, I should say, of getting people to buy advanced supply drops. Well, I say advanced supply drops, I mean rare supply drops. You know, you know what I mean. Let's head over down to the zombie side of things, and you can also purchase liquid divinium. I know I mentioned that you could buy gobble gum. Head over to Doctor Monty's uh, factory. The bottom here, you see purchase card points or spend card points for liquid divinium. So if you have card points. You'll be able to purchase Liquid Divinium. I do not know how many you get. I imagine you'll probably get three per every time that you spend 200. That's just my guess. But obviously, if you gain, it's head into purchase. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same thing. As you, excuse me, as you've seen before. So again, if you look at the top, it'll tell you how many car points you got, how many crypto keys you have, and how many Liquid Divinium you have. So I guess in a way, this is kind of pay to win. For Dr. Monty's factory and zombies, because you could just spend loads of money to get a ton of pegaholics. Obviously, it's it's still going to be rare. You're not always going to get a rare, an ultra rare gobble gum. You'll get decent gobble gums by using three vats, but you're still not always going to get them ultra rares that you w might want. So, but I, I imagine some people may spend a lot of money trying to get liquid diviniums um, for gobble gums such as pegaholic. Um, there's e even if a few other ones that. Um, other people might want to get like wall by and uh, on the house and even unquenchable that's just a mega the fact that you can purchase a fifth perk in zombies just having that as a mega that's that's quite cool but obviously card points are back in a different form but if you're happy to see card points back smash that like button in the face for me subscribe for more videos like these I've been the Diamond Day and I'll catch you next time bye bye